we all know that in astrology we have to see a horoscope from lagna also and from moon also fine but is there a synchronization point is there a point is there a technique using which you can see both the horoscopes you can have both the perspectives at once there is the purpose of astrological techniques is to take the hard work away right the prime purpose is that using a technique you will be saved from all the hard work that you will do without using that technique right that's the prime purpose in my opinion this is what i teach in all of my classes so now the technique that i am going to talk about today that is navatara the 27 nakshatras and you know nakshatras are ruled by moon so the 27 nakshatras are put into nine categories of janma sampad vipat chhem pratyak sadak vadh maitra ati maitra they are put into the nine categories and predictions are made accordingly now this navatara chakra because it is based on the nakshatras and as i told you nakshatras are ruled by moon this categorization is done based on the moon nakshatra so you take the nakshatra where your moon is situated in that nakshatra will be janma nakshatra the next will be sampat next will be vipat next will be pratyak sorry then next will be chem then next will be pratyak then next will be sadak then next will be vadha then next will be maitra next then next will be ati maitra by this way you will come to the nine nakshatras because these are the nine thing nine you know nine categorizations then the 10th nakshatra goes back to janma nakshatra to 11th nakshatra to sampat 12th nakshatra to vipat 13th to chem 14th to pratyari 15th to sadak 16th to vadha 17th to maitra 18th to ati maitra then 19th nakshatra goes again into janmatara 20th into sampat 21st vipat 22nd chema 23rd pratyari 24th sadak 25th vadh 26th maitra and 27th ati maitra so this is just a fixed table based on the nakshatra of moon you are distributing your all the planets of your horoscope you are distributing the 27 nakshatras in these categories and depending on where which planet is situated in your horoscope you are putting it into these nakshatras now the result of the planet there are two types of result that a planet will produce or two things rather before the result result will be produced by this navataras before the result there are two things that the planet signifies one is the basic signification that is there sun is the significator for father moon is the significator for mother and so on and so forth. and the second one is based on house lordship right fifth house lord indicate talks about children seventh house lord talks about marriage ninth house lord talks about fortune now this fifth lord seventh lord ninth lord are the lords from ascendant so when you look at a planet when you see a planet for the significations that they get through their house lordships in the navatara table what you are basically doing is you are making a bridge between the natal chart that you are looking at from the ascendant and the distribution of nakshatra that is made from moon so this is a link between birth horoscope and moon horoscope and for this particular reason because it tackles with two most important factors in one navatara becomes very important so much important that the only method to predict using nakshatras you know what you do personal astrology is known as jatak so the system of jatak personal astrology the uses the most important technique to use jatak with help of nakshatras you know nakshatras in personal horoscopy nakshatras in personal astrology the most important technique is navatara then how do you use it is the next point the point is interpretation so first of all look at this table i have made a sample sheet for you okay so basically first 10th and 19th nakshatra is janmadara second 11th and 20th nakshatra is sampattara 
थर्ड ट्वेल्थ ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट नक्षत्र है जिसमें पता रहा है एंड सो ऑन सो फोर्थ टेबल दैट आई जस्ट टोल्ड यू नाउ आउट ऑफ दिस टेबल आई शुड टेल यू अ फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रिगार्डिंग इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ हॉरोस्कोप the most important point is when you see a horoscope you have to check what the horoscope is promising there is a saying one does not get more than their luck one cannot be denied of what is in their luck so first of all you should know what is promised there and only after knowing this promise one can predict what is going to happen or what is not going to happen for example you want to check marriage first you have to check there is a combination for marriage only if there is a combination for marriage you can predict marriage otherwise how can you predict it don't predict not talking of the first tara janma tara that means birth every planet is good here almost any planet who is going here and essentially what i am talking of i am talking of house lords right so any house lord coming here is good in janma tara but specifically if the lagna lord now this janma tara is decided based on moon nakshatra moon nakshatra 19th nakshatra from moon nakshatra and 10th nakshatra from moon nakshatra is janma tara now if the lagna lord goes there what i have seen health issues along with this 6th lord in janma tara indicates health issues 8th lord in janma tara also indicates health issues. if there is 12th lord that goes into janma tara it makes the person do a lot of expenditure second lord and 11th lord in janma tara is very good makes the person very rich and a fortunate in the matters of money basically except for the lagna lord 6th lord 8th lord in the 12th lagna lord 8th lord 6th lord in janma tara except for that janma indicates birth birth is also doing so the planet who is in janma tara whatever that planet indicates that is a new karma that you are making in this life and you are doing this karma a lot with a lot of frequency third lord in janma tara makes the life full of ups and downs settlement what you call na person is settled got a good job have a steady flow of income is married have children have stability of job stability of job this stability in life is difficult to achieve fourth lord going into janma tara is difficult in the matter so sorry fourth lord going into janma tara is very fine person is generally happy go lucky type of a person and specifically the important point is when fourth lord goes into janma tara one is fortunate to have a lot of properties and multiple wealth fifth lord in janma tara makes the person a visionary very successful in life ninth lord in janma tara makes the person very uh, you know very lucky very fortunate Tenth Lord in Janma Tara gives great name, fame, prestige, owner. The person is respected, famous, fortunate also. Seventh Lord in all the different Navataras. I have done a separate video on that. That is available on the channel, so you can check. Also, for the sake of understanding, I am also only explaining a few house lords here. Rest everything is easy to understand. That I know all of you will understand, right? Now the next Sampat Tara. Sampat Tara indicates wealth. this is another very important tara sampat tara will be the second tara 11th tara and 20th tara from the 20th nakshatra from the nakshatra occupied by moon if there is most importantly lagna lord second lord 11th lord in sampat tara is very good makes the person wealthy seventh lord goes into sampat tara the wife is very wealthy Fifth Lord goes into Sampatara. Ninth Lord goes into Sampatara. Person earns good amount of money, not because of their hard work, but because of their luck. If ninth Lord is there in Sampatara, or if fifth Lord is there in Sampatara, then because of investments, because of his vision, his ideas are very good. Such people are the ones who convert their ideas into business and then make money out of it. Like people like Mark Zuckerberg, etc. Fourth Lord going into Sampatara does indicate that person earns good amount of money by working in property and vehicle related fields. Sixth Lord in Sampatara generally makes the person a doctor because person earns money because of health and all of these things. It can also make the person lawyer who makes money from fighting. Right, so Sampatara becomes very important to see from which way one will earn money. 
if someone is not having any planet in sampattara in that particular scenario the person does not have one stable income throughout their life such people keep on changing jobs right generally such people change three four jobs in their life so their career is not like you know they have done only one thing in life this is not the case eighth lord going into sampattara does indicate that person is into banking insurance such fields twelfth lord going into sampattara indicates one is into investment advising right third lord going into sampattara indicates that person earns money with a lot of struggle he have to travel a lot the job will be traveling changing right there will be frequent changes in job also regarding the vipattara the danger tara the third tara right the third from the moon sun nakshatra 12th from the moon sun nakshatra and 21st from the moon sun nakshatra is vipattara and vipat is danger so any planet that is going into vipattara there is danger related to that planet it becomes very specifically important for lagna lord 6th lord and 8th lord if they are going into vipattara it does indicate very bad health for the native which is bad other than that what i have seen if fourth lord goes into vipattara then in that particular scenario person suffers a great cheating you know or losing their own property on their hands of uh, their own family members that like grave cheating you know someone forcefully taking your things away your property vehicle and other such resources if fourth lord goes into vipattara other than that if the second lord 11th lord goes into vipattara in that particular scenario earning money will be a little bit of difficult these things you understand fifth lord goes into vipattara there will there have one have to struggle to for child birth one have to struggle to give birth to a child and all of these things are pretty simple i think you understand that when lagna lord goes into vipattara there is one something specific point special things i am mentioning in this video when lagna lord goes into vipattara what i have seen is that the person generally falls into problems it is like you know whenever a problem is happening the person is just found around out of blue lagna lord going into vipattara any problem is happening the person somehow gets himself entangled into that the company that he is having his ideas he is generally risk taker and gets affected by the risk he takes also along with this because of the friends family members and his own thinking likes and dislikes and attitude he keeps on trembling into troubles now and then which is the life thing the fourth nakshatra the 13th nakshatra and the 22nd nakshatra from the moon's nakshatra is chem well being any planet here is very good but sixth lord or eighth lord going into this nakshatra makes the person have health issues lagna lord fourth lord 10th lord in this nakshatra even fifth lord ninth lord lagna lord fourth lord 10th lord fifth lord ninth lord in chem nakshatra makes the person very prosperous in life these are generally people who settle around 30s in their life and then live a normal life right like they have a job they continue working in that job that job gives them money right they sustain for life and there is not much of an up and down this is a type of life where the person can live tension free third lord going into chemtara does indicate that the happiness satisfaction or the peace of life is often getting disturbed by people around and by situations around so this becomes a issue twelfth lord going into chemtara does indicate that there is a lot of expenditure that one have to do on health issues there is a lot of expenditure that one have to do on keeping their wellness and most importantly when the 10th lord goes into chemtara it does indicate that the person have to spend a lot of money to protect themselves from the anti social elements and from the bad consequences that they often jump into because of being over optimistic because of taking a lot of uncalculated risk whose outcome they can never see so this generally indicates a short sighted person because of whose lack of sight in future because of his lack of assessing the result properly the person keeps on landing into issues the fifth nakshatra the 14th nakshatra and the 23rd nakshatra from moon is pratyari that means open enemy any planet here is problematic specifically when the sixth lord eighth lord is there the person have much health issues <clears throat> point 1 
when the 12th lord or 6th lord goes into these nakshatras it indicates that person have a lot of enemies generally because the person is very popular he have a lot of enemies or if he is very successful if he have done things which others cannot do people generally become jealous right so this is there it indicates huge enmity it indicates that many people are jealous of the native will try to harm him there is a lot of enmity fourth lord going into pratyari indicates that the own family members third lord going into prati pratyari tara indicates siblings fifth lord going into pratyari tara indicates children and seventh lord going into pratyari tara indicates wife becomes inimical behave inimical to such natives and even they can face litigations from these people lagna lord going into pratyari tara is a bad indication which indicates that an unsuccessful person who cannot compete others in life and because of his inability of doing things generally gets frustrated from each and every scenario and starts fighting and competing with everyone such people should believe in getting satisfied with whatever they have and should not depress themselves by thinking of others achievements will be my advice the 6th nakshatra the 15th nakshatra and the 24th nakshatra from the natal moon nakshatra is sadhak nakshatra that indicates easy achievements 6th lord 8th lord going here does makes the person healthy there are no major health issues fourth lord here indicate one gains vehicle and property quite early in life fifth lord in these nakshatras makes a person very learned gives them easy children seventh lord in this nakshatra indicates quick and happy marriage third lord and twelfth lord in this nakshatra indicates that person often makes and uh, gets a lot of money through investments by advising others for investment or investing themselves second lord and eleventh lord in these nakshatras makes the person very fortunate in the matters of finances indicates that financial success and financial freedom is very easy to achieve tenth lord in this nakshatra makes a person placed very high in their professional life no professional tension the person is ruling enjoying and having fun in life the seventh the 16th and the 25th nakshatra from the moon nakshatra is vada tara death tara which is very bad lagna lord sixth lord eighth lord in this nakshatra does indicate that the person is having health issues sixth lord and twelfth lord in this nakshatra does indicate that the person is having a lot of enemies and these enemies will actually do great harm to him third lord indicates separation from siblings problem from siblings fifth lord in this nakshatra indicates separation and problem from child fourth lord in this nakshatra indicates separation and problem with mother ninth lord in this nakshatra indicates separation and problems with father second lord and eleventh lord in this nakshatra is very bad for financial you know like financial security and generally indicates that this person have ups and downs in their source of income and many a times in life their source of income can be blocked for longer periods which make them worry about their future tenth lord in this nakshatra make tenth lord in the nakshatra makes one struggle in matter of their finances in the matter of their security of their job and generally it does indicate that one can remain unemployed for longer periods of time now the eighth and the ninth nakshatra the 17th and the 18th nakshatra and the 26th and the 27th nakshatra from natal moon will fall into maitra and ati maitra category which is very good any planet here is very good specifically the relative indicated by this planet is your greatest friend and if you listen to their if you listen to their advice you can prosper greatly in life so for say the fourth lord in this nakshatra listen to your mother and, and mother like people in your life and listening to their advice doing everything after taking their opinion will make you very successful contented and happy in life if the ninth lord is there listen to your father third lord is there listen to your sibling fifth lord is there either listen to your coworkers or your children tenth lord is there listen to your boss seventh lord is there listen to your wife sixth lord is there listen to your relatives from mother's side second lord is there listen to the relatives from your father's side 
and by following their own advice by following their advice and taking their opinion before doing everything you will be very successful in life lagna lord and these nakshatras have confidence over yourself you know how to do things your vision your thought is the best and this is the only one that will succeed you follow yourself believe in yourself any planet in this nakshatra is good and whatever that planet signifies the result of those things which the planet signifies you enjoy in plenty in good amount another very important thing is what now as you have made the nakshatra and nakshatra list and nakshatra table there is one thing that you have to see at any given point of time you check all the nine planets right from sun to sun moon mars mercury jupiter venus saturn rahu ketu all of these nine planets check in which nakshatra maximum of these planets are situated in right for example let's do a small example for example this is the horoscope for the time being let's write where everything is so this is a navatara made from ashwini nakshatra this will be good for anyone who is having moon in ashwini right okay sun is into uttara bhadra so let's write sun one dot moon is into bharani okay bharani mars is into mrigashira mars is into mrigashira mercury goes to uttara bhadra mercury goes to uttara bhadra jupiter goes to revati venus goes to bharani saturn goes to satavisha rahu goes to ashwani and ketu goes to swati okay now you see bharani purva falguni purva shara set is having two planets sampath is activated Adra Swati Sadbisha set is having two planets. Sada is activated. Pushya Anuradha Uttara Bhadra and Aslesha Jesh Aslesha Jeshtha Revati. If you have noticed, I have taken Maitra and Ati Maitra as one. This set is having maximum of three planets. So for this person who is having Moon in Ashwini right now, for the time being till the Moon is into Bharani and then crosses through Krutaka and Rohini and Mirgashira. from right now up to to the extent moon crosses mrigashira and enters into adra the person is going from the time of maitra and ati maitra planets maitra and ati maitra tara is activated which means friend and good friend that basically means people having their moon in ashwini nakshatra are going to have good time for for the next 8 to 10 days till moon goes into adra nakshatra this you can use for your own horoscope the planets in nakshatra will remain the same just your moon nakshatra will change that will change the complete navadara this technique you can use to analyze how is your transit for today and for the coming days or additionally what you can do is you can remove moon from this list and taking the remaining eight planets you can analyze how is the current transit going for you and what i have seen that above any other technique this technique gives very great result in analyzing the transit not only this in ramayan before dashrath knows the will of kaikai that ram have to be ram have to be given to exile before he knows that there is a mention that he becomes worried narad the mind born son of brahma comes to him and he ask narad that narad ji many planets are transiting through my janma nakshatra many malefic planets he specifically mentions many malefic planets are transiting through my janma nakshatra i am being very worried regarding the result of this transit you tell me what will happen leave the rest of the dialogue the point is that at the time of dasarath at the time of ramayan 
checking the naksha, checking the transit of planets with respect to navatara was very prominent apart from the technique that i have told you it seems like they were using which set of tara which set of if they are called taras though they are nakshatras so tara and nakshatra is interchangeable here which set of tara is transited by maximum benefic planets that result of that tara will be very good the result is self explanatory with the english names that i have written and which set of nakshatra is getting transited by maximum malefics the result of that tara will be bad this analysis is being was being done even at the time of ramayan when where when rishis like vedavyas vasisht atri also used to practice used to live not only this if you remember if you have heard the legend that it is lord of the it is king dasharath who prays to saturn the planet not to do rohini shakata bedan because if saturn does rohini shakata bedan there will be famine in the world for next many years to come and he also writes a prayer he also writes a prayer requesting lord shani not to do that this once again because they are talking of rohini shakata bedan this once again hints that at that point of time the analysis of transit with respect to nakshatras was very much in use was very much popular and you can say that it is the earliest system i can confidently say that analyzing the transit through nakshatras specifically using this navatara method is the most ancient technique that is being practiced in astrology and from the time of ramayana up to this extent because i also use it extensively it has been giving huge results very very good results in fact <clears throat> the results are so astonishing that you cannot predict without these right you cannot predict without in fact what one more thing what you can do other planets quickly change their position you can take rahu jupiter saturn three planets are there you can divide nakshatras into three set sampat vipattara third tara pratri tara fifth tara and seventh tara vad tara these three taras are bad out of these three planets if maximum are transiting through third fifth or seventh nakshatra it is a bad transit for the time being if, if the maximum are transiting the other nakshatras namely the first set of nakshatra second set of nakshatra fourth set of nakshatra sixth set of nakshatra ninth or eighth set of nakshatra then this is a favorable time for the native and because you are only using rahu jupiter and saturn transit this is a long transit and the result can be told with confidence and a long result for long period 6 7 8 months can also be predicted this is something that i never miss while doing reading for a horoscope there is one more point that is there that one particular point is that in the case of dasha antar dasha also when you are going to analyze dasha antar dasha you say of any planet you have to keep in mind in which nakshatra the planet is situated in janma tara as i told you the first ninth and the first 10th and the 19th nakshatra janma tara is good for everything it indicates new karmas getting made in life so generally if there is a dasha antar dasha of a planet who is situated in janma tara there are many new changes that happens right person settling to a foreign land getting married birth of child switching from job to business such things are there but generally this is a time which is bad for health also planet in sampat tara generally gives wealth but if this is a naturally malefic planet then income of money is there but loss of some money is also there the loss is 20 30% remaining is income if the planets are in vipat tara that means danger it is a difficult time and the person can be into health issues lose their job and all of these things can be there when the planet is into chem nakshatra that indicates well being it is a good time the person is enjoying in life and not only enjoying he is also going through settlements in life that means purchasing home right <clears throat> making future plans and all of these things when the dasha lord is 
into Pratri Tara. That means open enemy. And which nakshatras come into Pratri Tara that you have noted by now. When it is a benefic planet in Pratri Tara, the person is generally disturbed by health issues and enemies. Whereas if it is a malefic in Pratri Tara, in that particular scenario, enemies do much harm to the native and the person may lose into litigation, etc. or any type of competition that the person is going through. If the Dasha Lord is into Sadak Tara, that indicates easy achievements. This is a good time. Everything is shorted. Everything is under control. The person enjoys life. At the right point of time, this is the Dasha for childbirth, marriage, purchasing home property and all of these things generally person settle in this period. If the planet is in Vada Tara, if it is a benefic planet in Vada Tara, it indicates health issues and unsettles the person in life, makes them troubled. Whereas if there is a malefic planet in Vada Tara, there are huge losses. The person becomes worry, worried about will I be able to sustain or not. Such issues are there in their life. In fact, there is great harm that can be caused to the native also. So they have to be careful. And if the Mahadasha Lord is anyhow situated into Maitra and Atimaitra Nakshatra, the nine nakshatras, three of the Maitra Nakshatra and three of the Atimaitra Nakshatra table, then this is a good time, a time of achievement. The person prospers in life, the person enjoys in life, the life goes towards settlement. And there are many achievements that the person have and also enjoys it. This is a time when the person lives tension free and really enjoys their life in whatever is their own description of enjoyment. Right. So this was my a little bit of like two cents of two cents of technique, a few techniques on how Navtara works and the importance of it. Once again, I will tell you two things because Navtara is a bridge between the natal chart and the moon chart. It becomes very important. It is being used from the time of Ramayan since last 3000, 4000 years and it has stood the test of time. And this is the most ancient and most authoritative technique to analyze one of the most ancient and most authoritative techniques to analyze the play of nakshatras and natal horoscope in human lives. Hence, it should be essentially used. Any astrological analysis done without Navatara is incomplete. Take it into consideration. Always.